area of trapezoids. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of this trapezoid. You notice that this one has a lot of decimals, so we're going to end up multiplying and dividing decimals. So we're going to identify our base 1, base 2, and our height, and then we're going to utilize the formula area is half of base 1 plus base 2 times the height. Remember when you're getting area of trapezoids, your bases are always the two lines that are going to run parallel to each other, the two flat sides, that are never going to intersect. It doesn't matter which one you label base 1 and which one you label base 2, as long as you don't duplicate them and you put them in the correct place within the formula. Your height is always going to measure from the bottom of the figure to the very top of the figure, just as if you were to go to the doctor's office and get your height measured. Your height is never going to be measured when you're slanted over sideways. So we're going to plug in all of these numbers into our formula and we're going to go ahead and solve it. So area is one half of base one plus base two times the height. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two bases together. So I'm going to do 0.9 plus 0.4. So 4 plus 9, 0.9 and 0.4. Remember whenever you're adding together decimals, you must line up those decimals. 4 plus 9 is 13, carry a 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. So 0.9 plus 0.4 is 1.3. So your commutative property says that we can actually flip these things around and make our lives just a little bit easier. I know that 8 is evenly divisible by 2. 13 is not evenly divisible by 2. So I'm going to end up with a larger decimal here unless I switch them around. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate some things around, make our lives a little bit easier, and then we're going to multiply. All right, so I'm going to take half of 0.8. Half of 0.8 is 0.4. Then I'm going to take 0.4 and multiply it by 1.3. I'm going to put the 1.3 on top because it has a greater value. And then I'm going to put 0.4 on the bottom and it has a lesser value. So I'm going to be 1.3 times 0.4. You don't have to utilize that zero in the front because it's just a placeholder. There is one decimal place in this number and one decimal place in this number for a grand total of two decimal places within our answer. 4 times 3 is 12, put a 2 and carry a 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. My answer has to have two decimal places, so I'm going to start at the very right and I'm going to go 1, 2. So the decimal is going to go in front of that 5 and I'm going to go ahead and put a 0 in front of that just for a placeholder. So the area of this trapezoid is 52 hundredths meters squared.